Here we're going to practice finding the probability of more than one thing happening. If we have this jar of marbles, this question is asking us to find the probability that you pick a red marble and then you pick a blue marble. And it's saying that we're going to return the marble after our first pick. So let's first find the probability of picking a red marble on our first pick. The probability is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So if we dump out our marbles, we count how many they are, that is the number of possible outcomes. So in this case, there's 20 marbles, so that goes down in our denominator, and how many of those are favorable if we're calculating the probability of picking a red? Well, there's just two red, so it's two. So the probability of picking a red marble is two out of 20. So let's say we did pick a red marble, but then we returned it to the jar. Now let's calculate the probability of picking a blue marble. So again, the number of possible outcomes, we count how many marbles, there's 20 still because we returned that red marble after our first pick. How many are favorable for finding the probability of picking a blue? Three. So three out of 20, that is the probability of picking a blue marble on our second pick. Now to find the probability of both of these events happening, we just multiply these fractions. So multiply across, two times three is six, 20 times 20 is 400. And you can change this to a decimal by dividing. Six divided by 400 is 0 0.015. We can change it to a percent which is 1.5%. Now let's try another. This one is the same exact question, except now it says we remove the marble after our first pick. So again, the probability of picking a red, there's 20 marbles and two of them are red, but let's say we did pick that red marble and then we set it aside. We didn't put it back in the jar. So when we're trying to calculate the probability of picking a blue one now, the total number of possible outcomes, the total number of marbles in our jar is only 19. And how many of those are favorable? Three of them. So now that we have the probability of both events, we multiply them together and we get six out of 380. And we can change that to a decimal by dividing, and then we can change that to a percent. Now let's try one more. This is very similar, except now we have a third marble that we're gonna pick. So what's the probability of picking a red, then a blue, then a green, and we're gonna remove the marble after each pick. So again, on our first pick, the red marble, there's 20 marbles, two of them are red. Let's say we picked that red marble though. So the red marble is gone. The probability of picking a blue marble, there's now 19 marbles, so there's 19 possible outcomes, and three of them are blue. So it's three out of 19. Let's say we did pick that blue marble and we remove it. So now there's only 18 marbles. What's the probability of picking a green if there's only 18 marbles in here? Three out of 18, because there's three green. Once you have the probability of each event happening, you multiply them together. And when we multiply two times three times three, we get 18. We multiply the bottom numbers, we get 6,840. And then if you divide this to change it to a decimal, we get 0 0.003, which is just a 0.3% chance, a very slim chance that you're gonna reach in and pick a red and then a blue and then a green.